The entire universe is rotating and changing. The fallen rotates in all directions. When turning inward, it generates energy. When turning outward, it gives energy. This is the symbol of Falun Gong, also known as Falun Dafa, the cultivation practice introduced by Master Li Hongzhi in 1992. Practitioners of Falun Gong cultivate the essential nature of the universe, truthfulness, compassion, forbearance. Many people of goodwill, especially in Western cultures, might question why the swastika is front and center in the Falun symbol and wonder why it is used in the spiritual practice centered on nonviolence, peace, and harmony. The swastika enjoys a long history within varied religious traditions that transcends its misuse in mid-20th century Germany. Originally from India, the word swastika comes from the Sanskrit words su, which means good or well, and asti, which means being or state. Within the Buddhist tradition, swastika means a state of well-being or letting good things occur. Many Buddhist texts begin and end with the symbol to signify the value of what was written. In ancient spiritual traditions of the Middle East, the swastika has been depicted within a triangle symbolizing the goddess Astarte. In Chinese Buddhism, the symbol itself represents the number 10,000. And in a more symbolic sense, the number stands for timelessness or eternal existence. For this reason, Depictions of the Buddha in those cultures often show him with a swastika on his chest. Some legends of the Buddha suggest that he was actually born with the symbol on his chest. American Indians traditionally have used it as the symbol for the Thunderbird, also known as the Phoenix. Swastikas have been found in burial mounds in Tennessee and Ohio. The Potawatomi, Hopi, Zuni, Kickapoo, and Plains tribes, among others, depict the symbol on clothing and artifacts. Navajo blankets were woven with swastikas. The discovery of images in America, said to be of the Lord Buddha, signifies the close connection between the swastika and religious personages in the New World. Pre-Christian Britons used it to honor the goddess Brigid, who later became St. Bridget to Christians, and today closely resembles St. Bridget's cross. Within the catacombs of Rome, swastikas marked a number of early Christian tombs. It was an early custom to mark the tombs with this symbol or to place vases with swastika symbols in tombs to ensure the safety of the departed soul or to fend off demonic spirits. As late as the 8th and 9th century, it has been found embroidered on Christian vestments and was inscribed on the ring of Pope Leo I. Even more amazing, swastika mosaics have been found in ancient Jewish synagogues in North Africa and Palestine. The swastika has been associated with the sun wheel, the spinning hammer of Thor, and the footprints of Buddha. It was used by Vikings, the Old Norse, Greeks, Romans, Celts, Anglo-Saxons, Mayans, Aztecs, Persians, Christians, and Neolithic tribes. Ancient Romans honored it as the symbol of Jupiter. The earliest known picture of a swastika was scratched on a cave wall. Many other historic uses document the swastika as a totem, a decoration, or a good luck charm in ancient civilizations including the Mesopotamians, Hindus, North and South Native Americans, and Scandinavians. The first examples are found in Sumeria and earlier cultures that existed in what is now Pakistan, around 3000 BC. Around 1000 BC, the swastika was commonly used in China, India, Japan, and Southern Europe. It is estimated that Indo-Aryans traveled into Europe around 2000 BC and brought with them the swastika symbol, sun disk, as part of their religious art at that time, as shown by excavations of Kurgan graves on the steppes of Russia and Indo-Aryan graves in Jingjiang, China. 
Swastikas have been discovered at several locations in the New World. It was considered an auspicious sign by some of the original inhabitants of America. Swastikas are found in monumental remains of the primitive Mexicans and Peruvians. The discovery of the swastika in the New World might indicate that it was carried to the New World by Asian traders in prehistoric times. The swastika symbol has been used for thousands of years among practically every group of humans on the planet. The symbol in various cultures are strikingly similar. In Europe, it had many different names. Gamadian in ancient Greece, on a rune stone from Norway, Crux Gramata in Christian symbolism, Fulfat in England, Tetraskeli in Greece, and Savastika or reverse swastika. It should be noted that in ancient cultures, the reverse swastika was considered a bad omen and carried bad fortune. Although ancient Germanic tribes knew the swastika as the cross of Thor, the Nazis did not use that term, but instead misappropriated the Indian term swastika as their nationalist symbol. As the cross of Thor, the symbol was brought to England by Scandinavian settlers in Lincolnshire and Yorkshire, long before Hitler. As the sign has been on Jewish temples from 2,000 years ago in Palestine, Hitler would seem to have stolen a Jewish symbol as well as an Indian one. German militarist groups adopted the reverse swastika in the 1920s and it began to be identified with the German military power and might. Upon close examination of the German symbol and the Buddha symbol, we find significant differences. While the German symbol is usually black on a red background, the Buddha symbol is brightly colored, usually yellow or gold. The German symbol is tilted, while the Buddha symbol is upright. And, although not usually pointed out, the German symbol is a reverse swastika. When Germany was defeated, the symbol that defined its power was now seen as a symbol of evil. The swastika came down as quickly as it ascended. In 1946, it was constitutionally banned from any public display in Germany. It was not the symbol that was evil, however, but those in power who used it for the most evil purposes the world had ever seen. Hitler stole the symbol from those who came before, including honored spiritual traditions where it was a sign of good fortune. In modern American culture before and after World War II, the swastika was commonplace and a universal sign of good luck and harmony. A postcard from 1907 describes the swastika as a combination of four L's standing for luck, light, love, and life. This postcard, copyright by E. Phillips, a U.S. card publisher, speaks for the universally high regard in which the swastika was held. The Lafayette Escadrille, American pilots who fought with the Allies before America's entry into World War I, wore it as their insignia. During World War I, the American 45th Infantry Division wore an orange swastika on a shoulder patch. Turn-of-the-century greeting cards displayed it to wish the recipient good luck. Coca-Cola issued a swastika pendant. Until 1940, the Boy Scouts gave out a swastika badge, and early women's hockey clubs displayed it on their uniforms. The first Chinese Church of Christ in Hawaii displays swastikas carved in the sides of the pews. And there is a town in Ontario, Canada called Swastika. Today, many cultures use the swastika as a sign of good fortune and well-being. Taipei, Taiwan is the home of the largest collection of Chinese art in the world. Statues and images of Buddha that are hundreds of years old have the swastika carved on the forehead and palm. The Buddha statue on Lantau Island in Hong Kong is the largest in the world. Swastikas adorn the walls near the stairs up to the statue. Visitors from all over the world come to see and honor the Lantau Island Buddha, which bears a swastika on its chest.
we might well ask ourselves, why should this symbol, revered for millennia, be held hostage for the acts of a madman? The fallen engenders peace and harmony. The cultivation of fallen Dafa encompasses the essential nature of the universe. Truth, compassion, forbearance. As the symbol of the Buddha school, the swastika, symbol of the Buddha, honors all that is good and sacred in the cultivation practice of Falun Dafa. The universe is continually rotating, taking in energy and releasing energy. The Falun symbol reflects this continual change and movement. The Falun uses the Taoist symbols of yin and yang and the Buddha symbol of the swastika rotating to reflect the ever-changing universe, giver of energy and life.